what you want to do is you want to go ahead and place your locator in your scene however it works for you and if you have a very very complex scene you're going to want to make sure I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to do a cube. You're going to want to make sure that you understand that the normals have to be facing the correct way otherwise it will go right through I would per, you know I, I prefer to use myself to use um, geometry like this instead of flat planes and that way you know the normals are facing the right way if they're not facing the right way um, you're going to want to make sure I'm using a 2014 my 2014 so um, this is on normally so turn that off just to make sure you don't see, see any black areas so for instance if you have a face that is um, reversed it will turn black like this so if you see that the particle will go right through so anyway what you do is click on that the faces or the object that is black and you wanna go into normals and reverse there we go. That'll fix it. Alright, so what we want to do now is create a really quick scene. Alright, so we got this object. And we have our particle emitter. And let's go ahead and open this up real quick. And we want to click on the particle emitter. We want to raise it up. There we go. Let's say right about there. All right, so we want to animate now when it starts. Right now, it just starts wherever. You can see now it's turning uh, white to blue, which is really cool. So what we want to do now is we want to go in here and um, select the particles, actually the emitter, and at frame one we want to um, have the rate turn to zero. And then we want to click on the rate and right click and key select it. And then we want to move where we want the particles to burst out. Let's just say 60. Okay, let's go ahead and keyframe that. Okay. Now from from 1 to 60 there's no particles. But from 60 to 62 uh we want to have a thousand particles come out. And we key select that. Always have to select it and then right click on it. And from so from 60 to 62 we're spitting out those particles. Okay? Which is a burst. Okay, so we have a burst, kind of an explosion, and then we want to go two frames, so we got 60, 61, 62, 60, and then we go to 64, and we want to stop that rate to zero again. Right click over, key selected, now we have something that looks like this. Okay, you can see that it just bursts out. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right, what we want to do now is we want to add gravity to the, the particles so they pull down. So react to gravity. So click on particles and go into uh, fields and add gravity. Okay. And you notice I go back and forth. You can see I added gravity to the particles and click on particles. Okay, we're going to click on the emitter. So now the particles are going to be pulled down by gravity. There we go. All right. So one of the things we need to add is more speed. So what is the speed? Let's go to emitter, go control A, and go to particle shape, excuse me, emitter. And we were looking for speed. There it is. So speed we want to be increased and let's do it uh, four times okay see how that looks 
always hit enter after you uh, change an attribute. There we go. So you can see that that looks a lot better. It just spits it out a little bit farther. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to add some more particles as it spits out. Actually, not more particles, but we want to um, add collision. So we want to select the particles and shift select the object you want the particles to collide with. Hold down the space bar, go to particles, make collide. Do the same thing, particle, select another object that it's going to collide with, and go to particles, make collide. This adds a geo connector. Okay. What is a geo connector? Well, we've got these two objects in here. Okay, we've got the floor. And we've got the cube. Alright. So you can see that the floor and the cube have a geo connector. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and you see um, this is quite long. It's long history, so I'm going to go click on uh, edit, delete by type history. That will shorten things up so we can see that geo connector. The cube, there wasn't much there. I'll go ahead and delete by type history with that. So that shortens things up, makes it easier for you to, to find things in the attributes of that object if you delete by type history. I'm going to click on the floor, geo connector. Resilience has everything to do with balancing. So if we go in here and play this animation, see how they bounce off? Okay. We don't really want to do that, have that bounce so much really depends on your animation, what you're trying to go for, but let's do a point zero 0.01. Let's say they bounce a little bit. And when they hit the floor, they kind of stick, so let's do a point 0.2 on there. Let's do on both of those. Sparks usually, they do bounce, tend to bounce a little bit. So if you, if you feel it needs to bounce off at least one time, then one of the objects can have a higher resilience, and the other one, uh, and so we have friction here, and um, this will kind of hang on to those sparks when they hit. So now we have something that looks like this. It looks a, looks a little more believable to kind of hit the floor, spread a little bit, and fall back. So now we've got a pretty nice little animation. The only thing I'd like to tweak is the actual how, how much the sparks come out. Um, because we have such a small time frame here, we're going to extend um, the, the amount that's coming out. So I'm going to go Control A. And let's get into the attributes. Go back into the emitter. And at that point where we have a thousand, I'm going to click on that and let's do uh, something like 2,000. Double it. But if you do that, we have to click on the rate and we have to rekey it. Okay. So now we've got an explosion, a little bit more sparks coming out. And of course, you can uh, change that and add more if you want to. So we're going to do more. Boom. So we got some more sparks coming out. I'm going to bring that up to, let's say, uh, 4,000 be a little more dramatic. Of course you can keyframe this all day long if you want to and create all kinds of effects, different types of sparks. Basically that's it. And if you decide you don't like the color and how it works, you just go back to the particle, control A, go to the particle shape, Scroll down to the RGB PP, right click over it, edit map, and then you can change it any way you want to. So you can go in here, and because this is where it starts, we're going to do kind of a orange color, light orange. And then we're going to go to a brighter orange. Okay, then we're going to go to a red. And let's see how that looks. I'll play our animation. 
There we go. We want to die off a little bit more, a little bit faster, so I'm going to start a little bit warmer. Even bring this out a little bit more. And there we go. So now we can have more red. I say die off. There we go. If you just want to keep them white too, that's cool. I'm going to start with more white. If you don't like the reds, we can go in here and change them to more of a lighter color. There we go. There we go. So I'm just messing with this on the f on the fly here to see how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to go probably more with a white, an off-white blue. So go into the blue range. Okay, that's really super hot. And we're going to take that one away. I'm going to click on this guy right here. Let's go ahead and stop it. Alright, so... I don't think that's good enough. You get the idea. You can change the color any, any way you want to. There we go. So that's my final piece. It looks like my... Um, it, they spark stay a little bit too long. So let's... Um, right when they hit the floor... Just mess with that a little bit. So I'm going to click on the particle. Go to particle shape. And then I'm going to move up and go into... Um, the basic lifespan. So I'm going to go into make this three. Hit enter. And then uh, let's play it back and see how it looks. See how long they last on the floor. Okay, that lasts still pretty long. Let's go to two. Let's try that. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So now we got to now we got to render these. 